It doesn't really matter where you've come from or what you've been in and how much you've lived under shame and rejection. God wants to release His power through you. He wants to change the ending to your story. You may not have had a good start, but you can have an amazing finish. And it comes out of decisions. Notice what it says here. Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor. He wasn't born a mighty man of valor. He wasn't born a champion. He became a champion. He became a champion because of how he responded to God. He made choices and became a champion as a result of his choices. God is still looking for champions. He is still looking for champions. Our nation desperately needs champions. Our nation desperately needs men who will arise in the power of God. There are people waiting for someone to reach out to them and bring God's power to them so their lives can change. If you look at the story of, of Jephthah, he became a mighty man of God. Let me just give you some, several simple things. The first thing is this. It says, when he came under all of that oppression, said he ran into the land of Tob. He ran away from home. He literally fled from home because of the panic and the trouble he'd had. He ran away into stress and anxiety. Now that word Tob means good. You can choose to run into things that make you addicted, or you can choose to run to God. Here's the first thing you need to make a decision about. Run to God, not to a substitute. If you've been in pain, if you've been in distress, if you've been in some kind of mess in your background, Run to God. Don't run to something that's a substitute. Don't run to something that will get you addicted and hung up and keep you in a place of defeat. Run to God. Run to Him. Run to Him. You run to Him every day. You run to Him. He has life to offer you. Some men have trouble surrendering. Listen, when you surrender to God, you get His best. You give up your worst. You're surrendering and letting go things that are ruining your life. Second thing that we know that he, we know that he ran to God because the Bible says in Hebrews eleven thirty two he was a man of faith. You know Hebrews eleven is a, is a book where God notices people who impressed him, and one guy in the Old Testament impressed him, so his name's recorded as a man of faith. Jephthah, he didn't let his past determine his future. He dared to believe God, ran to God. Ran to God in his pain. Second thing is, he resolved the issues of grief and injustice and offense. You want God to work through in your power? You have to resolve stuff. You can't carry all your baggage with you and expect the power of God to work through you. You've got to let God access to your heart, to the deepest places of your heart, to help you get free. It's a matter of being honest with God and taking God's approach to dealing with pain and injustice by releasing grace and forgiveness into it instead of judgment. I wonder if you've processed the stuff that you've been through. I wonder if you've let God have access to it. Sometimes people don't want God to access it. Third thing we need to do is receive the Holy Ghost daily. We need to let God fill us up daily. If you're going to see God's power work in your life, build a prayer life. Build a strong prayer life. You got the gift of tongues, begin to pray strongly in the Spirit. Let your spirit rise up. Draw on the strength of God. Paul prayed that you would be strengthened with might in the inner man. If you want to see things happen, become strong in spirit. Spend time in the Word of God, meditating. Begin to see yourself as God sees you. Most people just see themselves as they used to be, but you need to look and see what the Bible says about you. You're a new person. You're an overcomer. You're a conqueror in Christ. You have greater is He in you than he that's in the world. You need to meditate and let it get into your mind and heart till you see yourself doing the works of God. Why don't you dare to dream about God working through you? Until you can see it, you'll never see it. You need to see it in your heart and prayer around you, wherever you are. Amazing when you can see those things. So start to speak God's Word over your life daily. Father, I thank you today that, Lord, your Spirit flows out of me. The love of God flows out of my heart by the Holy Ghost. People are touched by your presence. See, you've got to learn to build things around your life. If you want to see things flow out of your life, you can only give what you've got. So you have, that's why I pray. I pray because I want to know him and carry him to people. 
This is why I spend time meditating. I want to see him as he is and bring him to people. These are not difficult things to do. They just come out of desire. And then you notice that when the opportunity came, he stepped up to it. The last thing is you need to recognize. You need to recognize and respond to opportunities by stepping out and believing for God to work through you. You'll never know about God's power flowing through you until you try. A lot of people sort of are very passive. But Jesus, the, the virtue flowed out from within them. That's why you build your inward life. So something flows out from within you that brings life to other people. I wonder what miracles are waking out there for you to fulfill. They're just waiting for you to rise up. They're waiting for you to step up. Will you do it?